How many of you guys know Kendrill? Kendrill, hands up. Oh, good, good. So we're a $19 billion IT services company uh, in both the infrastructure services as well as the application uh, modernization services. So we're really excited to present to you our new services around cloud native uh, managed services. We manage the whole life cycle from a cloud native perspective. It's a huge difference. We actually use all the AWS governance services like uh, CloudWatch, Trial, all those services to manage uh, your workloads, right? So how many here are clients, customers? Customers. Good, okay, no worries. So what I'll do is I'll pass this on to Apurwa, uh, who's gonna walk you through the innovative services that we have deployed starting September 30th. So go ahead, Apurwa. Thanks, can I get this? Thanks, Anthony, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. So I'm gonna talk about the cloud native services that we have, and essentially, like Anthony mentioned, these services are designed for developers, right? So as you start consuming your AWS services for applications, we make it easier for you to deploy, uh, update, as well as manage them on an ongoing basis. Um, over here, what we do is provide end-to-end -end services right from design to implementation, management, migration, and more importantly, the audit and the governance that we provide to make sure that your AWS bills don't go up and beyond what you have done. That's a very important thing that we see in our customers, um, you know, AWS uh, estates. Uh, the way we do it is that we have uh, two kind of services. One is the cloud foundational services where we're essentially helping you design the landing zones, make sure that they are compliant and resilient to what your application needs are. And that is where we put all your account structures, oops, uh, all your account structures, the governance policies that are required, the connectivity to your data centers, and so on and so forth. And then we also have the spokes where you actually deploy your workloads, right? The applications that run on AWS, and the, we connect them. We connect them via, um, uh, you know, uh, the VVC peering that we do, and then manage them for an ongoing basis. We offer them in a flexible model, so you can select what all services that you need for your estate. So you can only pick up the the foundational services, oops, sorry, the foundational services, or you can pick up the um, infrastructure services or a combination of both, depending upon what you need, right? So moving on, um, how do we actually uh, provide it? So like Anthony mentioned, we use all the AWS native services that you see on the slide. So we have our own discovery uh, service that essentially discovers the estate that you have deployed or are going to deploy on AWS. Then we have uh, you know, the um, the monitoring services leveraging all the AWS native services like CloudWatch and the uh, logging and auditing services. We have uh, the set of control tower policies that we apply. Then we have use SSM for automation and patching. And we then have an ability to discover what workloads have been provisioned through IAC pipelines and then onboard them for managed services, right? Um, the way we do it is look at how do we uh, leverage the cloud native management services. We have delivery teams that are formed in an SRE model. So it helps you, we work closely with your developers to deploy them. We, we also see that most of the customers are still in a traditional mo model of management. So we help them transform to a cloud native model using all the native services. Um, security is important on AWS, right? So we ensure that you have a strong compliance posture on the AWS for the environments that you're running. And finally, we ensure that you optimize your AWS estate on an ongoing basis. So this is periodically looking at your estate, finding out opportunities for optimizing and saving costs for AWS that you are running on, right? Um, so moving on, uh, this is how in detail it looks. So we provide the ability to integrate into your uh, ITSM tool, it may be a service now, where we can expose the service now service catalog for you to start provisioning the services that, uh, that we need, uh, that you may have, right? And um, from there, once you provision them, you have an onboarding service that will discover them, onboard it, apply all the security policies and the controls, ensure that they are patched, oops, sorry, uh, and it enable them for monitoring and set up the backup configuration as well, right? Um, along with that, we also have the ability, or we provide the developers the ability to provision from GitHub directly, right? So you might have your 
templates set up in GitHub where you could um, push your updates from or push your uh, code from GitHub. It goes into the code pipeline and then starts provisioning into AWS. These services might be might be infrastructure services or platform as a service components. Oops, or uh, the container as a service components, and all of them get can get provisioned. Once they're provisioned, then we ensure that they are scanned to make sure that they are compliant from a security perspective. And finally, we also ensure backup uh, happens through the backup services that that we have. Right. Um, finally, uh, we while cloud native services are great and it offers most of the functionality, we also realize that there are many customers who need more enterprise-grade security or backup products, and that is where we are integrating with uh, a Veeam uh, service that can help you do the backups for your uh, infrastructure as well as the cont container components that you have, right? So that flexibility is also inbuilt. So this is what we offer from a Kindle perspective. I'll uh, open up for questions if there are any questions that any of you would have. Do you guys do your own uh, management, provisioning? You guys do. Do you guys use a service provider? You do. Okay, good. So, uh, do they use these cloud native services? Some of them, not all of them. But we'd love to talk to you after the uh, session here to see if we can help you further, right? Along with our partner, Veeam. Okay. With that, hey guys, thank you so much for your time. Remember, we're Kendrel, we're a $19 billion company, we're a, we want to be your innovation partner, okay? Thank you so much.